we are going to be doing 15 building hacks. This is the first time talking on my channel, so I'm kind of scared. But I do hope that you guys enjoy the video. Um, be sure to like, and subscribe, share this with your friends, and I do hope they actually use one of these hacks. And comment down below if you do. I'd be really interested to find out. And yeah, I think we should get started. Okay, so the first one is lanterns on chains. Um, so I built two houses, one for like small chain and um, lanterns, and then and the other one for small lanterns. Uh, so I decided to like spruce wood for this one and then like um, for this one. So let's go into the first one. So I find people normally um just do lanterns like that. It really annoys me because they work so well because I've got a little chain part going. And I think it was a like perfect perfect glue. Um, yeah. And I also have another idea for it. Like maybe a little chandelier thing. Like maybe it's gonna be a little additive to the chandelier if you're gonna have one. And yeah, I can like just point out these are some seriously close neighbours. Like you can just jump in the other one's balcony. Yeah? Or just like look inside the house. <laughs> but yeah, this is the same with the lanterns. It's kind of a shame because I really love the lanterns. But they actually give off less light than normal lanterns, so I can't really use them as often in my builds as I want to. But I still use them, and then here it's just the same, but just um, with the soul lanterns. Next one, and this is hacks 2, 3, 4, and 5 the bathroom. So here, this is meant to look like toilet paper, I don't know if it does, it's kind of grey but um, most people normally um, do an iron trap door to look like toilet paper but I don't find it looks good and if you just do a button the item frame goes tiny so do the place the button behind and then the item frame you can even do like a little secret hideaway behind if you want like however you want to and here everyone knows this hack it's Toilet, just a simple toilet. And under here, I decided to have um, sea lanterns on so I won't really have to have visible lighting because I find it's a serious skill to be able to hide your lighting. So, yeah, just put the light grey carpet or any kind of carpet on top and see it gives us some light. It's just starting to come nightfall. So here it's meant to look like shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if it does, but it's a little shelving area. And yeah, it's just, just tea pickles and flower pots. And here I just did a little cracked in a flower pot next to the bath. It's just stairs went around like that and then added water inside and it worked. And here you can use a banner as a towel. I'll actually show you how to make this exact banner pattern. So I've got my barrel with a few things you'll need and then of course loom. Uh, so as I was just testing this out seeing if I could remember uh, I just left that so I need um a light grey banner. The way they do a shading it seriously deceives me. It kind of looks like dark grey in a way and then a white light grey dye, some white dye and the flower charge banner pattern. Okay so just get the loom um, and then you put the banner in and as it is light grey banner you put the white dye. It's called the white Lausanger, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, and then you add the light grey dye and add a little dot in the middle, and that's the light grey round dye. Yeah, something like that. And then you do another white dye, and then 
it you. Yeah, and then it kind of like this. One. Yeah, you do that one. And then you get the flower charge pattern. And then white dye. And you get something a little like this. This is how it would be before. So I have like have that little triangle bit there. Or you can use the light grey dye instead of the white and have this effect. I'd say it also looks very cool. So yeah, there you have it. Same as the other one. Both the same. Uh, I actually saw this another YouTuber do it a couple years back. I can't remember who they are. <laughs> as it was a few years ago. Um, and I believe you can actually do these sticking out of the wall. So this is like how it looks like. Um, sticking out the wall and then these embedded in. But I think it actually looks better like these sticking out. Um, it's basically a little square of like stairs. Or in let me place it there yeah like that and then i think you can also place stuff in here i just did um a cactus and a flower pot so yeah so the next one is actually um a cat post you know where the cat sit on and like do stuff i don't know it's a sleeper <laughs> or something this next one is actually a usable cat post where cats can actually climb up and down um it's just the use of the scaffolding box and then you just climb up um, by pressing the space bar for npc and then um shift up, um go down if you are on pc and minecraft cats they actually love to sit on your bed and your chest and they can't get in it and i should know that I'm a cat myself. I was thinking maybe you can put carpet um on top of here and then still go up and down. But actually you can't as you saw I press shift so I crouch and yeah. And you can't go up and down, it's kinda sad because like you can make so many hidden bases with this but for some reason they don't and doesn't do it um minecraft if you're watching this for some reason please make this a thing i know it doesn't really make sense but minecraft doesn't make sense okay so number nine is food on a plate yum uh so this one actually is pretty nice uh can we just point out this is a really unfair meal because like some people get steak and cake and like cookies and then others get like that I'm not complaining about apples, but like, compared to the others, it's kind of, you know. The only downside is, well, the pressure plates on top of, um, item frames. And you have like, that's not a downside, there's nothing wrong about that. When we stand this on the pressure plate, they don't retract back up. But the thing is, if you get like, uh, if you ever get some pressure plate, I believe, or polished black stone press plate. They retract back up if you put it here. You see? The thing is, because the outer edge of a uh, lighting frame is actually like kind of birch colored, so we can only really use birch as also called plates. But, um, and if anyone stands on that, then you're kind of screwed. But if, like, you know no one's really going to be standing on it then this is great it will really fool your friends they'll be like wow how did you do and yeah oh wait i did it i no. so the next one is a bed and the reason i put dot 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 is well i'll explain in a second but you can um when you do this you can only use either birch trapdoors spruce trapdoors black oak trapdoors partially because well you can't see through them there's no weird holes in them like with the others um so they're completely like you can't see anything through them so um but the thing about this i would have built um examples um like for each one like give you a little idea like i did for like the little houses but i was too busy doing something else so of course 
this is actually sleeper wall. You might, you might be like, what? How? Why is that sleeper wall? It's just snow and carpet. How is that sleeper wall? Well, you can put um this like a little bed here. Uh, you can actually um and actually sleep in the bed. But that isn't the so amazing thing about it. It's actually the fact. I made a mini ace over here, underground. Let's go down this minecart rail, and I made myself a mini base. So this could be an easy, simple entrance, a nice um, hidden base. So you can put anything, everything you need here. Like, <laughs> and if you get really caught up in a little um, base, you always always need a little box. And I just added a little um. And then we'll be going to do a secret base if we do it. And so uh, but the only downside is you're kind of stuck here unless it's night time. So use your little um, clock for that. So you know that it's going to be night and then you escape and you can sleep in the bed and you just sort of take me up. And of course, um, I put these trapdoors inside so I can sit this on there and then put the carpet here so then I hold this one up. And on the next one is a ceiling light with stairs or flaps. So you can use stairs for this or flaps. I personally like both equally as you see there's the stairs and these are like flaps. Um, so that's slab design and then you can also do two different types of stairs like one facing out like that quickly do that here or like how you store it before um and yeah or you can actually place the sea lantern above like that so it sticks out and then it gives that little cool effect I personally prefer it kind of been built in and plus it's less kind of covering up on the top if you're gonna make a house two story and this is like on the third story or something. Um and yeah you can do it with either one, it really just looks like both ways, but that's my personal preference. Uh okay, the next one is number twelve, a nice light path. Little red, um signifying the soul lanterns called the regular lanterns. And okay, so you can go the cheaper option. It's already gonna go for a trip to the Nether. It's gonna be collecting these lanterns, or it can be like an end game thing with an end road, or it can just be a little building that can be creative. You can do it like this, this little pathway with um Nether, Nether crops. I think you need like silk touch to collect like, these survival, but you know it's worth it. <laughs> and then like some gravel. But I personally think that the end world is actually better. Um, and anyway, it's same here with the crimson roots. I think you don't need um. What does that sound? <laughs> I think it's the crimson fungus. Fungus. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't even need to touch the crimson fungus. It's also the same here with. Um, so you, just, you can do it like that too, but as I said before, I kind of prefer it as an enroid and then that lantern. This is honey dripping out. I also saw a YouTuber do this, but I can't remember. It was a while ago. I'm sorry. I have bad memory. <laughs> um, anyway, so how I did this was to draw her. Honey dripping out. So you can do it as it's not meant to be dripping out, it's like a little puddle on the floor. Or it was meant to drip out. Um so I'll actually show you guys how I built this. Um it's actually really simple. Kind of how it that.
it's definitely an end game thing. But um, okay. So you can tell by the end rods, first factor, and then dragon eggs, second factor. You see these little particles there? Yeah, no, it doesn't come from the dragon egg. I see no particles. I think it gives it a more cool effect. Um, you can achieve that, or of course, another portal. It could be a nice little portal um, behind me, but but they are noisy. So you can also use end chest, end chest, because they give off that effect. Um, I believe. Don't know the portal will but more, but you know, if you don't want the hassle of a noise, this will be great. And plus, you have a little place to end portal. So, as you can see, these are all slabs. I decided to use sandstone because it looked nice, and I also used smooth stone. And then here, as you saw, can see, I used that little chain with the lantern hack. Yeah. <laughs> and then I used um from that bathroom thing over there. Well, not bathroom, actually, like, it's just that roof thing, like, lighting. Yeah, I used that little lighting hack over there with the slabs. <laughs> yeah, I really be bringing those hacks over. And here it's just turned like them, they actually look like stripped out logs. Um, and the lecterns, they look better with, um, and they kind of covers up that little thing there with slabs around them. So, that's what I did, and of course I put the dragon egg on top, that hack. <laughs> Um, so here's the last one and then we get on to the bonus ones that you might install throughout the video. I won't do any more sneak peeks till we get there. You'd sit down, but don't know how to build it after, but let's say you build all these things and you're just tired and you just want a little sit down in your Minecraft world or anything. Here's how to make a sofa. And a nice sofa. That is, um, looks like really fancy sofa. Um, and these are some green. Neat blocks, some purple stuff. Oh, I didn't know that was petrified. Wait, what's the difference between petrified and normal oh, work? Yeah, it's the first one, so I just use that. Anyway, so you can actually do the little sofa like I did, or a little something like this. That's like a little more covered up theme. I think it'd be very cozy over campfire, maybe a little at outdoor thing. Um, but this one's maybe a little a bit more for a house, inside a house or something. I don't know, just get creative. But I think this would look so nice um, with a little campfire. Like, but I think this could be seriously cozy. Or like maybe some carpet, so I'd just grab some carpet little yellow theme yeah that looks good this is a little very quick because you know i don't have all the time in the world do i i'm filming a video here um yeah i think this looks very nice little outdoor thing and like maybe it's built in the ground like a little kind of area and then like you have staircase going up to the walls so you dig out a little area uh yeah i think that would look really nice okay so when i was building um like bathroom hack with um know the cactus over here i uh found that underneath the cactus seafer is actually seafer underneath this one is just normal and i think that is actually because here you can still see the kind of dirt through here and here it just covers up all of that so i think that's probably why so um yeah okay so on to the next one here's carpet yeah. fences and i actually quickly came up with this one a second before filming this so this is another little honey block idea uh of course you can't jump on honey blocks this can make some really cool designs um so yeah, um, you can actually add carpet fences, jump up and out. Mm. Some of you probably already know this idea, but but look, they they well, I got stuck in my own little trap. They would normally jump up and over the block, but here they aren't. 
Mm. Uh, we have a weird looking carpet and fence staircase. So, I know you might be asking why, why would we need this? I don't know, but I certainly thought that you needed to know this in your life, so I added it in the video. So the first one, you have to jump, you go, it's like not really like said, it's the first one. The other ones, it's like staircase, it like walks you straight on up. And to prove that, I will actually, um, jump up the first one and the second one. It's just like walking up staircases. No problem whatsoever. Um, so yeah. Okay, the next one is you have an even weirder staircase of cake and you might be asking, wow, how does this work? Why does it work? Why do we need to use this? Well, I don't know. Maybe you just want this. Maybe some people will use this. I don't know, but I thought you needed to know it. But yeah, you just eat the cake until you can't eat it anymore. And it makes you a new staircase. And it's only in one block. It takes up no space. So if you want a really, um nice staircase like so if you're hungry and you have to a quick snack but you might need to quickly replace the cake otherwise it's too screwed up the staircase we need a really compact staircase i got you just use the cake okay so the next one that's definitely not least this one is all covered up so you can't see uh i'll quickly break this down yeah i really went to town covering this one up anyway i'll quickly um break this down i'll see you after okay the reason I'm looking at this is because I want to do that big reveal. So, some of you might know this and just be like, oh, boring. But I did not know this until my friend told me and showed me. So, here we have dragons talking. Dragon heads talking. Yeah, I know it's weird. Look, they don't move normally. But, when they're connected to redstone, they decide to. So, if you want to have this little creepy thing, turn off, stop talking. Turn on, start talking. It doesn't say anything, because you guys can hear me walk around, break this box, not a sound. Mm. Well, I guess they are basically dead dragon heads. Like, why are they moving? Why? Um, but, move block of redstone, boom. I know this is really weird, but yeah. And I did not know that if you put it on your head, because I don't really wear heads, so I did not know this, but if you wore it on your head, the mouth moves when you're walking. Wait, sorry. It literally moves. Like, what's up with that? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. It was amazing to wait, even though it took ages to make. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, goodbye, see you next time, hopefully, and be sure to like and subscribe and share this with your friends so they can do stuff with their house too, like maybe a weird staircase of cake, or um, secret hideaways under a bed, or, or food on a table, I don't know, but anyway, Thank you for watching this video, it was amazing to make, I had a lot of fun discovering new things and stuff, and I hope that you guys enjoyed, goodbye.